Hello, my name's Phil Earl. I'm back again recording another video blog for Book Trust. This time I wanted to talk to you about this idea that I have that, um, that there's no such thing as not being able to write, that we can all be storytellers. And one of the reasons I believe in this so strongly is that I believe we're surrounded by stories. Every single day of our lives, things are happening all around us, all the time, that can become great stories. Let me give you an example of that. I've always wanted to write a superhero novel. I've always been inspired by graphic novels, by people like Batman or Superman or Daredevil. But I never thought I would come up with an idea that was cooler than any of the superheroes that had already been invented. Until about three years ago I was on the train and found a free newspaper that someone had left on the seat next to me. And in that newspaper was an article. Here it is. It wasn't a big article. Less than a page long. Two thirds of a page. And it was a story about a man, a little bit older than me, about 45 years old, who lived down in Kent in a council house, in a council flat rather, on the seventh floor. And he had a pretty tough existence. He had, uh, he had no job, so he had no money. Didn't really have any family to speak of, couldn't afford any friends, couldn't even afford a television, couldn't even sit and watch Jeremy Kyle and cash in the attic all day. And the only thing he could do to pass the time was sit on the balcony in front of his seventh floor flat and watch the world go by. And he realised after living there for a few months that nobody could park their car properly. Whenever someone tried to parallel park their car into a space, they'd either hit the car behind, hit the car in front, hit a road sign, hit the kerb or hit a pedestrian. And after a few months of watching this, he realised he was going to do something about it. He was going to turn himself into the greatest superhero known to man. And his mission in life would be to right this wrong that he saw going on every day. And his costume was absolutely brilliant. So let me show you what this person looked like. I uh, will need a volunteer. Ah, madam, this way, please, if you would step this way. Uh, hello, what's your name, please? Elsie. Elsie, yes, I know that because you're my daughter. Hello. Uh, this is how this man looked in this newspaper article. There he is. You can see him very clearly there. Because he had no money to go and spend on a flash costume, the only things he had in his wardrobe were a tatty, smelly old beach towel, a 1940s US Air Force hat with beautiful flappy woolly ears and a pair of scuffed, scratched old swimming goggles. And now every day... Actually, Elsie, how does a superhero stand? Uh, legs apart yeah. and hips. Ready to flap. Good. Every day, this man sits on his balcony and every day when he sees someone who can't park their car properly, he sprints down seven flights of stairs, he vaults over the fence and he parks their car. The thing I love about this story more than anything is that the article told us that um, when he was a teenager, he was sent to prison, and he was sent to prison for nicking cars, which I just think makes the story even better, because every great superhero has an origin story. And when I read that article in a free newspaper, I realised I could write that superhero book that I always wanted to write. And here it is, Superhero Street. It comes out this week. It's about a little boy called Mouse who wants to be a superhero so badly but has no powers, until one day... His mum foils a crime by accident. She's the local lollipop lady and she managed to stop people robbing a bank. And everyone thinks she's this new kind of superhero and he becomes the Robin to her Batman. And I would never have had that idea if I hadn't picked up a free newspaper on a train seat next to me. Stories surround us every day. We're all capable of telling stories. Uh, I hope that's of interest. I hope it's useful. Please do come chat to me online. You'll find me on Twitter at Phil Earl. Uh, many thanks to Elsie. Uh, many thanks to you. See you soon.